what is up everyone? So today, I'm going to go out to the GF and do stalls. They might wonder why I'm doing another stalls and slow flight video when I did one recently. The wing shouldn't drop, but if the wing drops, I will counter with opposite rudder. Do a slight buffet there. I'm full stick back. There it drops. But I'm going to give you over to future me. Just give you a brief explanation of what I'm going to do. And then we're going to go fly. Okay, so what we are comparing today is the stall speed of the Bush Baby with the previously installed Rotax 582 engine and the Bush Baby with the approximately 15 kilograms heavier Rotax 912 engine. All things being equal, a heavier weight always means a higher stall speed. However, with the new engine upgrade, we also installed VGs or Vortex generators on the wings, which should lower the stall speed by in the region of 5 miles per hour. For those who don't know what VGs does, there are very good information about it on the internet. However, a very simple explanation would be that the vortex generators keeps the boundary layer of air moving over the top of the wing, attached to the wing, for longer at slower air speeds, where otherwise the air would separate from the wing and it would stall. This results in lower stall speeds. So what I want to determine is the net reduction in stall speeds of the VGs with the heavier engine. Three. Run a park traffic in Jaguar Charlie, lining up for immediate takeoff runway 09 and departing to Pretoria GF2. Now, so I'm gonna start doing my ISO checks, um, and then we can do check the stall speeds in all configuration. All right, so let's do a clearing turn. Let me get it to the left. Special checks complete. Okay, so let's start with the stall in clean configuration. And we'll keep it straight with the rudder. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Last time I saw it was 45. So let's do another one. What is the configuration? Looks like 44. Recover. Alright, let's just turn around here. Face the other direction. Victoria GF2, India Julia Charlie, the bush baby, two miles to the west of Ekangala. 10,300 feet will remain in the area for the next one five minutes. India Julia Charlie. Alright, so now we're going to do one with 10 degrees of flaps. We are in flap speed. Take flaps. Okay, and let's do the stall. Looks like 42 is the lowest number I saw there. Recover. Alright, just um, turn around and do one with full flaps.
Forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, five. I drop. That's a drop. Seven. Just do one more. One more with full flaps. Okay, full flaps. Forty, thirty-eight, thirty-seven. Yeah, it's just stuck in this, dropping four fifty per minute. It's recover. On screen now, you can see the comparison of the stall speeds with the lighter 582 engine without VGs on the rings and the heavier 912 with VGs on the rings. If you are only interested in the numbers, feel free to drop off here because this is where I completely geek out and analyze what exactly is going on here. And it gets pretty interesting towards the end of the video. As you can see here, there isn't much of a difference in stall speeds before and after. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing because the new engine is quite a bit heavier, however the stall speeds isn't actually that much higher. So the BGs are doing something even though the results are a little bit underwhelming. Of course, there's a major factor to consider, which are the conditions at the time of testing, which was months apart, and the density altitude was actually a little bit lower in the test than in this video. And lastly, there's also the matter of the placement of the VGs on the wings, which we did 7% of the wing cord back from the leading edge. Now this is where things get interesting. You might wonder where I'm going with this, but just humor me for two more minutes. Are you kidding? You're, you're kidding, right? The Rotax 912 we installed is somewhere in the region of 15 kilograms heavier than the 582 that was installed before. Now, 15 kilograms might not sound like a lot of weight, but that weight is right on the nose of the aircraft, bringing that center of gravity forward. So logically, the plane is going to need a lot more up elevator to fly level, especially in slow flight. That is why the tailplane pitch was moved all the way down to the lowest pin to give that required pitch up to counter the weight of the heavier engine. But this still isn't the end of it. Our Bush Baby still has the older, shorter elevator, unlike the newer Bush Babies, which has got a longer elevator that was actually designed for this engine. So now, when I try to place our Bush Baby in a stall, because of the additional weight of the new engine and the under effective elevator, it isn't actually getting the angle attack of the wings high enough to where the BGs actually become effective. I'm quite confident that with installing the newer, longer elevator, the stall speed will come down an additional 2 or 3 miles per hour in all configurations. And we are currently seriously considering this upgrade. Two more changes we are considering is actually moving the VGs farther forward from 7% of the wing cord back from the leading edge to 6 or 5% as well as placing the VGs on the bottom of the horizontal stabilizer. Obviously this is all theory, albeit based on logic. Let me know below in the comments your take on all of this. I'd really like to know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.